In this tutorial, I want to show a feature called Master Accounts. This is intended to be used for one of the Software AG customers who themselves wants to sell our products like integration, Cumulosity, or API. And this is the tooling that they would use to administer those new accounts of theirs and uh, how to provision new environments and products for their customers which is using the Software AG Cloud um, family of products as the infrastructure. So the first thing that would happen is uh, somebody would get, uh, the master account administrator would get an email to change their password. Uh, I've already got that. I've changed my password. I've already logged in and done some things. So I'll just show that the user experience first coming in, it kind of looks like Software AG Cloud, but instead of my home, there's uh, the main the main screen is for accounts. And it doesn't have a my uh, a home page for uh, you're used to seeing because this is exclusively for master account administrators. So the first thing I want to do is show that there are a list of uh, what, what I call customers, which is the, um, the, the customers of our customer. So uh, we sell to a company called Acme and they want to resell it and they can sell it to one or, one or more of their customers. So I'm logging in now as a account administrator for a, a company that we, we might just call Acme, it doesn't matter. We don't see the name of it. So I'm gonna start by uh, imagining that we just sold a new version to a new customer and I will create what's called an account and I'll just use the convention that I have so far. So I'll call it, uh, this customer six, and this is for customer six. I'm just not going to get creative here. Uh, customer six, customer six. So, uh, and I'm just going to use my own work email for this, and my own, uh, just because part of part of doing this is going to be setting up um, the. the passwords and stuff for this account holder. But I'm gonna give it a, a unique name. So this is gonna be called customer six account administrator. So this is the contact information for this new customer. So this would be an email address at customer six with their first name, their last name, and, and customer six would be the name of that, um, that company. But I'm just using my own right now for demo purposes. And to create a, a new account, it's just simply creating uh, using that screen, filling out that form. And now we have a new empty account and I will navigate into that. And it's not very interesting. There's nothing in here. There's only a the same information from before and also this unique ID that we're gonna use later uh, when we try to do all this stuff from an API. So the first thing we wanna do to get customer six up and running, we wanna create a new environment for them. So I'm gonna call it customer six dev environment. And I'm just going to use my naming convention, customer six dev. And I'm going to, I get to pick which region that we want to deploy these in. And I'll just say this is the development stage. And um, typically some of the products may have three stages like dev, test, production. In this example, I'm going to imagine that it starts with a, a staging environment, sorry, a, a dev environment. And that's, that's what I'm going to provision first. So when I say save, it says it's been triggered. It takes a couple of minutes to do this step. And we get this notification. We also get an email uh, coming in that it's been done. And it, 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 it asks us to log into that environment, change the password, et cetera. That, th that email would be received by this customer. Customer six, the account administrator there, would receive that. And uh, presumably, we've already told that customer, thank you for buying it. We've negotiated a contract with them, meaning me as an account administrator for, uh, for Acme. So imagine that's already happened. We've already decided we're gonna uh, sell them. In this case, we're gonna provision a Cumulosity product there. And so there's this little indicator saying that the provisioning is still going on. I'm gonna check my email on another screen and notice that it, I haven't got the update yet. This is still happening. Uh, I, I just received it now, but it's still 
um, it's still in progress. And then I could go and and update the password, but I'm not going to do that. So you can see that this is now finished. It has created that environment. I could go change my password and log into this environment, uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'll wait until after I've provisioned the product. So the first thing I'm going to do now uh, to, to finish off this uh, customer six new contract, I'm going to go and subscribe them to Cumulosity. So in this example, I say, um, let's say they bought it for one year. So I'll switch to February uh, 2022 and Today is the 12th, so I'll say you get it until the 11th next year. And I just click a button for subscribing. Are you sure you want to subscribe? Yes, that's what they bought. And we started this uh, subscription process. This takes, uh, again, it takes uh, a minute or so to provision that new tenant in, in the environment. In this case, it's provisioning in, in Oregon because that's what I where I told it. And it, we get this feedback that it's... Um, it's spinning and that same account administrator is also going to get an email saying welcome to, welcome to Cumulosity and it's going to have a link for them to to log in. So this is done now. I'm going to show you that I did get this email and it says welcome to Cumulosity. So the first thing I'm going to do though is I have to put in a password for that environment that was created. So the account name that I gave it was customer A6AA, customer A6AA. I'm going to give it a new password. I hope I typed that right. So now I'm going to log in. And I'm going to log in as the customer 6 administrator. Uh, I didn't do that right. So <laughs> I, I typed too fast. So I'm going to have to uh, say I forgot the password. So I'm going to do customer six. So now I'm going to get an email with a reset password. I'm going to have to do it again. And this time I, I won't go so fast. So let me just close this window. That won't matter. And I'll open up that other email about forgetting the password. Um, okay. So this time I won't go so fast. And now I'll be able to log in. And I'm already logged in with that same uh, user ID and password, so it remembers me. This is the customer six dev that I just created. It's got Cumulosity there, and I will click on open. And this is what the customer of Acme would do. Customer six would now be able to log in, go to Cumulosity, start using it, and um, now they have the the product in their dev environment uh, fully configured. So let me switch back to my cloud. But this time I'm going to just log out because what we've done is created a, uh, a new environment with Cumulosity inside a, a new account called account six. So I'm going to just log out of this one and I'm going to do all the same things that I just did, but this time I'm going to do it through APIs. So I'm going to keep the same account, account number six, and I'm going to add a new environment and I'm going to provision a new uh, product there. But I'm going to do it all through APIs because a company might choose instead of doing it through uh, through the user interface, they might want to script some of this. And I'm just going to show it using uh, a tool called Postman, which is for developer testing of APIs. So the first thing I want to do is get my authentication token. So I'm going to refresh that. And I've already created um, a new account. So I'm going to just add a new environment. So in this case, I want to say it's customer six, the test environment. And I will say it's customer six test. It's in the AWS region. And I'm going to say that it's the stage test. And I have to give it the organization name. That's the master account name, which is this. And I have to give it the account. So I'm going to delete this because that's not the, the right account. I'm going to switch back and copy this account ID for six. So I, I press this little button, which makes it easy to copy. And I'm going to paste it in inside here. And now I'm doing this by API, which is I'm putting in a little JSON document that gives the um, all the details that I need. Instead of filling out the form, I just do, submit it this way. And it comes back and says it was created. So I can go and refresh my screen. 
And now inside this UI, you see that it's uh, it's actually hasn't been created fully yet. It's just kick out the process to create an environment called Customer Six Test. And basically, it's reflected in the UI. And the API just called to say, I've started that process, and it'll take a few minutes, and I'm just going to let this go. The same thing happens as if I had created it this way. Um, I'm pretty soon I'm going to get an email saying, update your password. And then I've already got that one. And then soon after that, I get an email saying that it was fully configured. So I'm going to go back now and just watch for that email to say that it's fully configured. And I'm going to set up for the next step. So in the next step, we want to provision one of these products like uh, Cumulosity. And the first thing I want to do is say, uh, I'm going to run an API that says, tell me what products are available in my master account. And it says, um, you, Acme, are a customer of Software AG, and you can resell Cumulosity and Web Methods IO integration. And when you want to provision something new for a Cumulosity tenant, then you use this listing ID. So I'm just going to copy that. It's probably already there. But I called the API just to tell me which one is this configured in. And it also says which region and which tiers. So it's a basic or advanced uh, enterprise, et cetera. So in this example, it's got uh, basic Cumulosity and basic integration. So I'm going to go and run another API to actually um, provision that, that product. So uh, it's a different environment. It's called, I just created that one. It's called customer six test. And I have received the email saying it's been uh, fully created. And in this case, I'm going to paste in that, um, that listing ID. And I, I'm going to say that it's, uh, again, for this one, it's also 22 February 11. I can't remember if that's what I used, but it's just a one-year contract. So I put all that information in, and I say go. Um, this did not work. Try that again. OK, so this time it worked. I can't, don't know what went wrong. And then I'm just going to show that uh, inside number, uh, the second environment, if I click on the manage subscriptions, it shows that the Cumulosity subscription is currently being subscribed. It says subscribing. And that's because we triggered it through the UI, or sorry, through the API. And right now, it's going to be uh, doing the same thing as if I did it through the UI. It's going to send me an email saying, welcome to Cumulosity. It's going to update here. And I'm just going to show that it's been done. Now we have it here. And again, I'm not going to show changing the password for that one, logging in and showing that. But now this customer six now has two environments. Uh, let's just actually just go over to this one. And I'll just, actually, I'll go to the new one. So why not? I'm going to update the password for that one. And I'm going to take my time. And I'm going to log into this one. So it uses customer six account administrator. And this time, I want to show the, the, uh, the nice feature that shows the, the different environments. So I'm logged in as this administrator for account six. I see that. In the test environment, I have Cumulosity. And it also remembers that this same customer six also has a dev environment. So I can go from this environment over to that environment. Now, I have to log in again because I haven't set up a single sign-on between these. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and do that, log in over there. And now I can switch back and forth between them. So I can see my Cumulosity dev instance here. And if I go back to the test world, I can see that. And I can do all the normal things that um, you'd expect from, um, from Software G Cloud. I can add new users. I could set up single sign-on. I could let one, uh, you know, users from one environment log into the next, et cetera. I can do all the normal things that you can do with a regular account. But in this case, I'm showing the master accounts. And I'll just go back to see what we've done. So we added a new customer, number customer six. We added manually through this UI a, a new dev environment, and we provisioned Cumulosity. And then through APIs, we added a test environment for that same customer, and we provisioned uh, another exam 
another instance of luminosity. Okay, that's what I wanted to show. Uh, I hope you have uh, success with your implementation of master accounts.